Whoa, hey, hey. Hey, Living Environment fans. It's that time again for your Wednesday. Bellinger, I just counted. There's like 15 instructional days between now, including today, and the Regents exam. 15. That's like three school weeks in the next four and a half weeks or so. So, wow, it's coming down to it. And we're just wrapping up our study of succession. In fact, your test on succession is tomorrow. So let's do today's bell ringer. Mr. Kovacs class. It's Mr. Kovacs class. You might learn on time. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. S U C C E S S. That's the way we spell success. Succession. Succession. S U C C E S S. That's the way we spell success. Succession. Success means like to flourish, right? To be successful is to flourish. And so succession is environmental flourishing. And that's what we're talking about, today. communities of organisms. But you know that communities are made up of populations, which are made up of individual organisms, right? So organism, these are the layers, organism, population, community, and then we have ecosystem. So we're gonna talk about communities. Succession is, succession is to change in communities over time after a disturbance or something. Okay, so there's two types of success, succession. Two types of succession. Two ways that succession happens. All right, first one's called primary. Duh, the first one is primary. What are we gonna call the first one? How about primary? Yeah, oh, good choice. Yeah, primary means first, primary succession, first one. Let's take a look at primary succession. On the earth, brand new land comes into existence. It's really rare. And usually it's the result of volcanic activity where volcanics erupt and secrete magma as lava onto the surface and it cools and now you have rock where there was no rock before. Or at least you have a new layer of rock on top of whatever was there before that's now been destroyed. But this new layer of rock is new. It doesn't have any soil on it. It's just basalt rock lava. Right? Ooh, like this... Highway here is not doing too well, okay? That's a brand new ecosystem waiting to happen. Right when it cools into rock, it's not an ecosystem because there's no organisms living on it, right? There's no populations, there's no communities, but once it cools, it opens up the uh, uh, invitation to organisms to colonize that brand new land. That's called primary succession, when you colonize and succeed on brand new land. The first species are usually these guys. We call them lichens. Lichens are a symbiotic organism, an algae that does photosynthesis and a fungus, right? And they tend to grow in the irregularities of the rock. And as they grow, they, their body parts extrude and start to break up the rock into tiny pieces. It's our first, our first like, attempt at making soil is done by lichens. We call lichens since they're the first to move in. We call them the pioneers. Pioneer species, and they are the first to move in in primary succession. All right, lichens come in different colors, and they basically got to break the rock down, hopefully into soil. Looking lichen, you liking the look of this lichen? I'm liking the look of this lichen because it's green. It's really green. It's got a lot of uh, photosynthetic algae in it, as well as uh, it's a fungus. It's a symbiotic organism. You can see it's attached to this rock, and it's starting to help weather the rock. I mean. Rock will break down anyway with weather and rain, and especially if places where it freezes and thaws and stuff like that, and different um, acidi acidity of the environment, and what, depending on the rock and that kind of thing. But the lichens really help break the rock down into soil. And then others can move in. That's the success. We start with lichens, then we get mosses, grasses, and shrubby things. And as more and more soil is available, made available to grow on, you get bigger and bigger plants. Maybe even some succulents here growing. They're growing into brand new lava rock succession, right? It's the little weeds growing up in the cracks of the rocks. That is, as they grow through the cracks of the rocks, they, their root systems will break the rock into more soil succession. And eventually, eventually, if you wait long enough, 
this lava will be covered with soil and the soil will be full of plants, hopefully some large plants, depending on where it is. And those plants will, that area will then be habitable to consumers since they're producers there, All right? So that's succession. First pioneers, the small scrubby plants, then larger and larger plants, and then the animals come in. Succession, until you reach what we call the climax community. We Climax community is like um, the end of succession, All right? So succession is when you start with nothing, bare rock, and you slowly add organisms that break that rock down in the soil and then more plants can grow and then more different plants can grow and more soil is then made and then as more things die and it, you know you wind up with a mature forest let's say that's your climax community is when succession ends and then it'll stay like this until the next disturbance that leads us to a second type of succession secondary succession is when you already have a place that's already has and it gets destroyed like a forest fire is a great example of secondary succession a forest fire there was a forest with plenty of soil and animals and things but it gets destroyed it like it starts all over again that's called secondary succession when a forest has to start all over again right same kind of deal right after the fires recede and go out then it's time for the pioneer species right, to get the burn remains of trees there's still what makes it different from primary succession is that there's still soil available so it goes a little bit faster than primary succession a little bit easier for pioneers to species to get a foothold here in this burnt forest Usual suspects of grasses and ferns will start to grow first right primary and species re replaced by smallest shrubs and then next you'll get your smallest versions of trees and then ultimately it will grow back into the forest that you had before secondary succession secondary and primary succession are similar in that there's it's like the building of a forest right or the building of an ecosystem a community the difference is primary you start with brand new ground secondary you start with old ground that you was there before but just somehow got destroyed by a fire or something and then you have the pr primary i'm sorry the pioneer species and then there's competition they get replaced all along more and more soil is made more and more decomposers move in and then the animals start to move in and living in the community of organisms until you make it to your climax community which is the end of succession so let's taste succession lesson. Succession lesson. S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -S. That's the way we spell success.